اهلا بكم في كايلو دار ريد ستودنت اوف سيل دي يير اوف سكندري ستيج ذيس از فاينل ريفيجن اون ستاتكس كوتشن نمبر 1 ا بادي اوف ويت سيلت نيوتن از بليزد اون ا راف انكلايند بلين وين ذا بلين از انكلايند ات سيلت ديجريز تو ا هوريزونتال The body is about to slide down. If the inclination of the plane to the horizontal is to be 60 degrees, calculate the least force acting on the body parallel to the line of the greatest. Letter A, to prevent sliding. Letter B, to make the motion about the about to begin moving upwards solution the body is about to slide under the effect of its weight only when the plane is inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal Since mu equal ten thirty degrees equals one over root three. First, since the body is about it. The body is about it. to slide down. Therefore, R equal thirty cosine sixty degrees. Equals fifteen mu r plus f p equal thirty sine sixty degrees. Therefore. One over root three by fifteen plus f p equals thirty by root three over two zero four f p. Equals ten root three newton.
second the body is about to move upwards therefore r equals cell t cosine 60 degrees equals 15 therefore r equals cell t cosine 60 degrees equals 15 f p equals mu r plus cell t sine 60 degrees f p equals 1 over root 3 by 15 over 1 plus cell t by root 3 over 2 therefore fp equals 20 root 3 newtons Question number two. A body of weight 20 newton is placed on a rough plane which is inclined to the horizontal at an angle whose tangent equal 4 over 3. If F1 is the magnitude of the least force parallel to the line of the greatest slope, of the plane upward is to prevent the body from sliding down and F2 is the magnitude of the least horizontal force to prevent the body also from sliding down and F1 equals F2. Find the coefficient of friction between the body and the plane and the magnitude of any of the two forces. Solutions In the case of the force parallel to the line of the greatest slope upwards, then since the body is about to slide down therefore F1 plus mu R1 equals 20 sin theta therefore f1 plus mu r1 equals 20 by 4 over 5 equals 16 this is number 1 r1 equals 20 cosine theta equals 20 by 3 over 5 equals 12 
substituting in one therefore f one plus twelve mu equals sixteen therefore f one equals sixteen minus twelve mu in the case of the horizontal force since the body is about to slide down where this therefore F2 Cosine theta plus mu R2 equals 20 sine theta equals 16. 3 over 5. F2 plus mu R2 equals 16. This is number 2. R2 equals F2 sin theta. plus 20 cosine theta therefore r2 equals 4 over 5 f2 plus 20 by 3 over 5 therefore R2 equals 4 over 5 F2 plus 12 substituting in 2 3 over 5 F2 plus mu by 4 over 5 F2 plus 12 equal 16 therefore F2 by 3 over 5 plus 4 over 5 mu equals 16 minus 12 mu therefore f2 equals 16 minus 12 mu over 3 over 5 plus 4 over 5 mu
but f2 equals f1 therefore 16 minus 12 mu over 3 over 5 plus 4 over 5 mu equals 16 minus 12 mu over 1 therefore 3 over 5 plus 4 over 5 mu equals 1 therefore 4 over 5 mu equals 2 over 5 therefore f1 equals f2 equals 16 minus 12 by half equal 16 minus 6 equal 10 newton Question number three. A uniform rod of weight 24 kilogram weight rests with one of its end on horizontal rough ground and the other end on a smooth inclined plane, making with the horizon an angle of measure 60 degrees. If the rod is about to slide when it inclines to the horizon with an angle of measure 30 degrees, find the coefficient of friction between the rod and the ground and the reaction of each of the plane and the ground. Answer The equation of equilibrium. mu r1 equals root 3 over 2 r2 this is number 1 half r2 plus r1 equal 24 this is number moment about a equals zero therefore negative twenty four by L over two by root 3 over 2 plus r to l by root 3 over 2 equals 0 therefore r to equals 12 therefore the reaction of the inclined plane equal equals 12 kilogram weight from number two therefore six plus r1 equals 24 
therefore R1 equals 18 from number 1 therefore mu by 18 equals root 3 over 2 by 12 therefore 18 mu equals 6 root 3 therefore mu equals root 3 over 3 the reaction of the ground R dash equals square root of R1 power 2 plus mu R1 or power 2 equals R1 square root of 1 plus mu power 2 equals 12 root 3 kilogram weight question number 4 a b c d is a parallelogram in which AB equals 6 cm, BC equals 8 cm, and the measure of angle A equals 60 degrees. Forces of magnitudes 8, 10, 8, and 10 newtons act along the ray AB, the ray CB, the ray CD, and the ray AD, respectively. Find the magnitude of the moment of the cobble equivalent to this system of forces. Solution. The two forces eight and eight form a cobble. Let the magnitude of its cobble be vector M1. Therefore, vector M1 equals 8 by L1 since L1 equal AD sine 60 degrees since L1 equals 8 sine 
60 degrees equals 8 by root 3 over 2 equal 4 root 3. Therefore, vector m1 equals 8 by negative 4 root 3 equals negative 32 root 3 newtons dot centimeter. The two forces 10 and 10 form a cobble. Let the magnitude of its cobble be vector m2. Therefore, vector m2 equals 10 by l2. l2 equals cd sin 60 degrees L2 equals 6 by root 3 over 2 equal 3 root 3 newton dot centimeter. Therefore, vector m2 equals 10 by 3 root 3 equals 30 root 3 newton dot centimeter. Since therefore the system form a cobble the magnitude of its moment vector m equals vector m1 plus vector m2 equals negative 32 root 3 plus 30 root 3 equals negative 2 root 3 newton dot centimeter. Question number five. A uniform rod of length 105 centimeter and weight 12 newtons acting at its midpoint rests in horizontal position on two subvolts at C and D. Such that AC equal 25 centimeter, two weights of magnitude. 48 and 24 newtons are suspended from its ends and A and B respectively find the position of the point D in order that the pressure at C be twice the pressure at D. 
solution R1 plus R2 equals 24 plus 12 plus 48 equals 84. Therefore, R1 equal to R2. Therefore, 2 R2 plus R2 equals 84. Therefore, 3 R2 equals 84. Therefore, R2 equals 28 newtons. Therefore, R1 equals 2 by 28 equals 56 newtons. Since the load is in equilibrium, Therefore, moment about A equals zero. Therefore, negative R1 by 25 plus 12 by 52.5 minus R2 by 52.5 plus X plus 24 by 105 equals 0. Therefore, negative 56 by 25 plus 12 by 52.5 minus 28 by 52.5 plus x plus 24 by 105 equals 0. Therefore, 1,400 plus 630 minus 1,470 minus 28x plus 2,520 equals 0. Therefore, 280 minus 28x equals 0. Therefore, 28x equals 280. Therefore, x equals 10 centimeter. Therefore, the point D has a distance of 62.5 from A. Question number six. A 
AB is a uniform rod of length 50 cm and the weight 20 newtons acting at its midpoint. Rotates easily in vertical plane about a fixed hang at its end A. A couple having moment of magnitude 250 newtons dot centimeter acts on the rod in the same vertical plane. Find the measure of the inclination angle of the rod and the hang reaction on the rod in the state of its equilibrium. Solution Since the rod is in equilibrium, Therefore, R equal 20 Newton vertically upwards. Two hundred fifty equals twenty by twenty five by sine theta. Two hundred fifty equals five hundred sine theta. Therefore, sine theta equals two hundred fifty over five hundred. Therefore, sine theta equals half. Therefore, theta equals 30 degrees. Question number seven. A, B, C, D, H, O is a regular hexagon forces magne of magnitudes 80, 60, F, 40 gram weight act along the ray A, B, the ray B, C, the ray C, D, and the ray H, D, respectively. If the sum of the algebraic measure of moments of these forces about the vertex A vanishes. Find the value of F. Solution Moment about A equals 80 by 0 plus 60 by L by sine 60 degrees plus F by 2L cosine 30 degrees minus 40 by 2L cosine 30 degrees where L is the length of its side. Therefore, 60 L by root 3 over 2 plus 2 F L by root 3 over 2 minus 40 by 2 L 
by root 3 over 2 equals 0. Therefore, 30 root 3 plus f root 3 minus 40 root 3 equals 0. Therefore, f root 3 equals 40 root 3 minus 30 root 3. f root 3 equals 10 root 3. Therefore, f equals 10 gram weight. Question number eight. The false vector f equal three in the direction of unit vector i plus two in the direction of unit vector j act is at the point a equal order the pair two and the negative one. Fine. Number one. The moment vector of vector f about the point B equal of the pair six and the two. Number two. The algebraic component of the vector f in the direction of vector A B. Solution. Moment vector about B equals vector BA product vector F. Vector BA equals vector A minus vector B equals Order the bear 2 and the negative 1 minus order the bear 6 and the 2 equals order the bear negative 4 and the negative 3. Therefore, vector BA equal negative 4 in the direction of unit vector i minus 3 in the direction of unit vector j. Moment vector about b equals negative 4 in the direction of unit vector i minus 3 in the direction of unit vector j by 3 in the direction of unit vector i plus 2 in the direction of unit vector j equals negative 8 plus 9 in the direction of unit vector k equals 1 in the direction of unit vector k. Algebraic component of the force vector f in the direction of vector a b equals 
vector f product vector ab over norm of vector ab Therefore, equals three in the direction of unit vector i plus two in the direction of unit vector j by three in the direction of unit vector i plus four in the direction of unit vector i plus three in the direction of unit vector j over five equals three in the direction of unit vector i plus two in the direction of unit vector j by four over five in the direction of unit vector i plus three over five in the direction of unit vector G equals 12 over 5 plus 6 over 5 equals 18 over 5 equals 3.6. Question number 9. AB is non-uniform rod of length 100 centimeter and of weight 4 kilogram weight rests in a horizontal position on two supports C and D where AC equal BD equal 20 centimeter if the pressure on the support C is twice the pressure on support D it will mind the distance between the point of action of the weight of the rod and the A. Then find the magnitude of the weight that should be sub suspended at B so that the rod is on the point of rotation. Solution. Since R1 equals to R2 and R1 plus R2 equals 4 therefore 2 R2 plus R2 equals 4 Therefore, 3R2 equals 4. Therefore, R2 equals 4 over 3. Therefore, R1 equals 8 over 3. Let the weight acts at N where N be equal x centimeter Since the load is in equilibrium, therefore, moment about B. 
equals 0, therefore 4x minus R2 by 20 minus R1 by 80 equals 0, therefore 4x minus 4 over 3 by 20 minus 8 over 3 by 80 equals 0. Therefore, 4x equals 80 over 3 plus 640 over 3. Therefore, 4x equal 720 over 3 equal 240. Therefore, x equal 60 centimeter. Therefore, an equals 40 centimeters and the NB equal 60 centimeter. When the weight W is suspended at B, There are therefore R1 equals 0 since moment above D equals 0. Therefore, W by 20 equals 4 by ND. Therefore, W by 20 equals 4 by 40 therefore w equals 160 over 20 equals 8 gram weight Question number 10. A, B, C, D is trapezium in which line segment A, D parallel to line segment D, C. Measure of angle A, B, C equal 90 degrees. A, B equal 8 centimeter. B, C equal 17 centimeter. A, D equal 11 centimeter. Forces of magnitude 22. 16, 34, 20 gram weight. Act along the ray DA and the ray AB and the ray BC and the ray CD, respectively. Prove that the system is equivalent to a cobble and define its moment norm. Then find the two forces was acting along the ray AD and ray CB so that the system will be in equilibrium. Solution from the figure DC power 2 equals DE power 2 plus AC power 2 equals 8 power 2 plus 6 power 2 equals 100 therefore DC equal 10 centimeters
therefore, 16 over AB equals 34 over BC equals 20 over DC equals 22 over AD equal to and is the forces act in the same cyclic order Therefore, the system is equivalent to a cobble It's a moment. Equals two by two by eleven plus seven over two by eight. Equals two by two by fourteen by eight equal 448 gram weight dot centimeter since the system is in equilibrium Therefore, four hundred forty-eight minus F by eight equals zero. Therefore, eight F equals four hundred forty-eight. Therefore, F equals fifty-six gram weight. Question number 11, let I direction unit, unit vector and J unit vector B to orthogonal unit vector. In the direction of the coordinate axis. The O X and the O Y vector F one equals two in the direction of unit vector I plus A 
in the direction of unit vector j and vector f2 equal negative 6 the direction of unit vector i plus 3 the direction of unit vector g are parallel forces determine the value of A. If the two forces act at the point order the bear 1 and 0 and order the bear 5 and 0 respectively find the intersection point of the line of of action of the resultant with the x-axis. Solution F1, vector F1 parallel to vector F2, therefore vector F1 product vector F2 equal 0 vector, therefore Two by three plus a by six in the direction of unit vector k equals zero vector. Therefore, six plus six a equals zero. Therefore. A equals negative one. Therefore, vector F two 
equals negative 3 by 2 in the direction of unit vector i minus 1 in the direction of unit vector j equals negative 3 by vector f1. Therefore, the two forces in the opposite direction Therefore, vector r equals vector f1 plus vector f2 equals 2 in the direction of unit vector i minus 1 in the direction of unit vector j plus negative 6 in the direction of unit vector i plus 3 the direction of unit vector j. Therefore, vector r equals negative 4 the direction of unit vector i plus 2 the direction of unit vector g. Norm of vector r equals square root of 16 plus 4 equals 2 square root of 5 false union. And F1 equals square root of 4 plus 1 equals root 5 fourths unit. And F2 equals square root of 36 plus 9 equals 3 square root 5 fourths unit. Assuming that Vector R acts at the point C, which equal order the bear X and the zero. Therefore, square root of five by X minus one equals three root. 5 by x minus 5 therefore x minus 1 equals 3x minus 15 therefore 2x equals 14 therefore x equals 7 Therefore, the point of intersection of vector R with vector
the point of intersection of vector r with ox is the point c equals order the bl7 and 0 we finish final revision on static until we meet again goodbye